Well, good morning. A couple days after Christmas. Hope everyone had a good one. I know I did. It's uh, Tuesday morning. A little snow coming down. <clears throat> Just woke up. Start the day. Celebrating early. Got the uh, gold 94 Ranger on the trailer. 2010 Silverado. What do we got? Got the hashies. Hot and fresh today. Nice and early. Yeah. That's how it goes. Sell the shitty Ranger, but not the nice one. Too nice for people. Not even the money. It's not even. It's not even people, you know, offering less. Just a bunch of stupid questions. Can't take it. Hate selling stuff on Marketplace. The only good way to really do it. But. 94 Rangers going to its new owner. Delivering it today. Um, fellow YouTube friend um, I think he's got a vacation house or something up here um, he's up for a little while during the holidays and I like he said I'd like to have that Ranger just as a yard truck I guess you got Maybe a big piece of land, a farm, or something. But he asked me how much. I said, well, you, know, you want it with the cats or you want it without? Because it's a big difference. So he ended up saying, well, I don't need no cats. can't make this stuff up what we got here sausage McMuffin with egg right I just opened it up and uh, I don't know about you but I don't see any sausage in there well right around the corner I'm gonna take it back. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Very sorry about that. Yeah. Let's see. All right, she's in there this time. not very melted but oh it is in the middle so the good news is we got that and the even better news they can't take them back so we got a egg and cheese but we're gonna Gonna reuse that egg.
double egg McWhopper. Oh, the simple thing it says it on the screen. Stuff's right there. You put it together, but you never know. Maybe the kid. You know, maybe he had a rough night. You never know. No harm done, I suppose. So. Yeah, so we ended up uh, agreeing on a price. And I keep the cat, so I like that. And uh, <clears throat> it's more than I would get over the scale. The even better part, it's roughly around the same area as where I take the cars usually to the junkyard, but uh, I didn't. Um, I didn't take the cats with me because you know you're probably saying well he could have just you know sold the truck and then went and cashed the cats in and then had a really nice day well I decided to uh, hold on to those for now because I got some number one steel in the dump bed I got about a 12 13 battery saved up so probably wait till another day make a run down there with the dually and the dump and cash in that sort of stuff I figured it'd be a nice little day and then uh, cash in those Ranger cats and it'll be like a little added bonus you know so how I got that was uh, a little bit of a story. I was actually uh, sadly scrapping the Dodge Raider. Went down and got rid of that. Now I was heading back, back up north. I stopped, you know, of course, got some Wendy's and uh, rolling through marketplace dangerous thing to do but I figured maybe I could find another car down that way make the day a little better so I ended up seeing another seeing a Ford Ranger on there that gold one and uh, turns out it was actually north of where I live so it wasn't anywhere near where I was but not too far from where I was going. They should put two eggs on here. That was good. But, uh, so I messaged them real quick, figuring, you know, you don't usually get a quick response on there. But the kid said, yeah, still got it. It was only up there for, uh, maybe 20 minutes. It was a fairly new ad, but the pictures of this thing looked really good. Complete truck. Didn't look too bad. He said it ran and everything, but um, he said it's basically a parts truck. So, I said, well, is it complete? And it's got everything on it factory exhaust and everything like that and he said oh yeah he said you know it's been sitting for a little while and I uh, need some cab mounts and stuff like that so he wanted 500 and I said uh, you know I'll give you 300 what the hell And I figured because 
Well, first of all, the Ford Ranger, people love the thing for some reason. Being an older one, 94, four wheel drive, could be something I could turn around, even sell or possibly fix a couple things. So I said it might be worth it to go get it for 300. And plus, I was hoping that it would have uh, a bed liner in it so I could put the bed liner in that red one to uh, take care of that uh, hole situation in the bed. So he said, no. He said, um, 400 would be my bottom line. I said, okay. So that's when you play the game. You just don't say nothing. Well, about five, ten minutes later, he messaged back and said, you know, what do you think? You think you could do 350? I said, yeah, possibly. So, again, judging by the pictures, seemed like a pretty good deal. So I said, oh, what the hell? I got nothing else to do. Snow's coming down. Big flakes. Be a nice ride. But, uh, so, <clears throat> the whole ride, uh, I had about, you know, a good uh, hour and a half to get back up that way. I said, yep, yeah, heading that way. Got a trailer, all set to go. So he messaged back and forth, and it was this big situation where it was sitting on uh, on um, a farm or something that he didn't live there anymore, but the truck was there, so he had to get permission to go there. So finally, just before I got up to that area, he said, yeah, we're all set. All set to go. So, Ford. Um, so I got up there, and yeah, it's way out in Amish land, and uh, sitting way back on a farm. Now, I get to this truck, and I can't help but laugh because it looks nothing like the pictures. The bed looks like it was pushed in with a tractor, and uh, a lot rougher shape pictures look really good so turns out he took those pictures when he first got it he's a young kid it was his first truck he bought so he starts to run around and start trying to change tires and it's got flats the tires are right off the bead I said this is not good but I looked under it, it had the original cats on it. Man, stuff is just going everywhere. Um, so, whew, man, heat's good in there. So it was a little bit of a nightmare, and I'm saying, what the hell? But, um, turns out, his mom and stepdad lived there. He had the truck there, but he got in a big fight with his stepdad. He moved out and wasn't even supposed to be there on the property, but got permission to sell me the truck. And anyway, after I said, hold on, I said, instead of fighting with all these uh, tires and stuff, let's see if this thing runs. Cause I, I'm getting kind of, I'm getting a little bit uninterested at this point not much good on this thing well we jumped it with this little car and uh that thing fired up and it just sat there and purred i said wow okay so then a the whole thing happened where his mom and stepdad come over and they're saying you can't sell this truck it's under my name and 
and said, okay. I said, well, you know, I talked to the lady and said, you know, all you got to do is, uh, you know, make out the bill of sale from you and it's all set. So she kind of calmed down and she wouldn't give me a picture of her license, which I need when uh, something's, it's old and it's got no title. So she wanted to go make a photocopy of her license. So she don't want a picture taken, but she wants better to go get a photocopy I said whatever makes you feel better I said I need it I need it I need the ID so she leaves goes to get that and uh, he said you know the kid says you know sorry uh, it took so long here and you know I said yeah I said he's he said I'm sorry about the tires and uh, I said well I said, you know, honestly, I said, you, you took some good pictures because uh, it, it's uh, nothing like the pictures. I expected it to be a little better. I was hoping for some better parts or, you know, the whole truck. And he said, oh, sorry about that. And this is a young kid, you know, and he says, I tell you what, he said, uh, how about how about we do 300 because of your aggravation and he said, I didn't know that this bed was like this. He said, I think my stepdad pushed it with the tractor out of the way. So uh, I said, you know, that's a real stand-up thing to do, especially for a young kid, you know, to uh, step up and, and do that. And I said, yeah, I'll, I said, I'll take that deal. I said, I said, that sounds good to me. I shook his hand and, you know, uh, that really meant something to me. It's, so... Just before they were coming back, I said to him, he seemed kind of worried, and I said, uh, I had a feeling something was going on. So I said, you're going to, I said, you're going to get the money for this truck, right? They're not going to screw you out of it because it's not in your name. And he said, well, I sure hope so. He said, I paid for the truck, but I don't know. And I said, well, you want me to just give you the money right now and uh, before they see? And he said, that might be good so I gave them the 300 bucks before they pulled back in and they they pulled up second later lady gave me the the license and uh, signed the bill of sale I drove it right on the trailer with a tire in the front it was off the bead and no power steering because the fluid leaks but I drove it on I strapped it down and got the hell out of there so took a long time to get but that's what I ended up with anyway for 300 bucks so kind of put it out there to a few people and like I said this one guy pulled the trigger he wanted it so I'm gonna deliver it Make a little profit. Like I said, be a nice day. Still got the cats. Oops.